Hello and welcome to Centurion's Corner and today we're doing an upgrade of a most anticipated figure for a long long time. You can actually go out and probably pick this figure up for about $12.99 now but um, yeah I, I, I kind of always kept putting it off because I didn't think he was too bad and the main reason was is his helmet. But looking at a few pictures, I've gone out and I've taken some pictures when, when I went out with Black and Santon the other week. Not personally, I just took them out for a, a walk and took some photos and stuff like that with the actual figures. And um, yeah, it just kind of dawned on me that this figure really needs a good look at. Um, and I'm looking at some Hot Toys kind of sort of imagery as well. I didn't really think that they missed a lot off, which they haven't. But there's just those little small subtle kind of bits of details that would really make this character pop. So looking at the actual figure itself, the main parts is like the gauntlets down here, all these need little extra silver parts, even some chippings, a bit of black wash over the top of it to make them really sort of stand out, to make them look a bit metallic in a way. Uh, even his belt as well needs a few extra different browns and stuff around on here to make it pop out again, again with a black wash. Um, and, and I think generally on his boots and these silver bits and stuff on his kneecaps as well, and carrying on those kind of looks over the top of his armor but the main reason for this guy is for some reason a lot of people when i first got this no one had any reasons why it was everything was fine is that my helmet inside um there's a really big chunk of plastic just bring the light in over here but inside there's that sort of like skull cap you can just see it inside it's that darker green it really hinders the helmet for some reason it just doesn't want to fit on there and as soon as you put it on there you've got this under look of the chin around it just doesn't fit flush compared to the other one so we've got the uh, uh typhon one here the jedi sort of like ruins type boba fett even though it's exactly the same figure just inside it's got that skull cap again but it just fits on it's just so much better it goes all the way down so you can't even see his neck and when you turn in and stuff it just it just kind of works with the actual figure itself but this one it just as soon as you go up it just looks way too small for the actual head itself so i'm going to go in there i'm going to really dribble out that um, part on the inside there so we can get a nice sort of helmet if it's a little bit loose or not too fast i can live with that i just hate where it really doesn't fit flush over his head so that's the main reason for this one and i think just generally over the top a little bit of gunmetal on his guns uh, just a little bit more sort of spruce up on those sort of details will really bring out this guy and make him shine and actually probably make him my better fit actually i prefer this one and that's just due to the actual helmet and this one needs an upgrade at a later date as well which i'm really sorry that i haven't got around to it so yeah we're going to go off we're going to actually um paint this one up and uh, hopefully bring some life and magic into this guy let's go so let's begin first of all what you want to do is remove all available accessories guns jetpack and helmet so they don't get in the way of any kind of paintwork So with using the Dremel in here, you can actually buy these from any kind of hobby craft places or maybe even DIY. And what you want to do is just get that kind of little bit on the top there, just put on the lowest speed possible and then going to slowly, slowly sand it down. Now I took a few attempts here, inside there's a big bit of plastic. I was kind of hoping just to sand it down just slightly and it would just fit over the figure. Uh, the more I kept attempting in the end, I just completely sanded it down. Just be careful not to push too far down because obviously you can sand through the helmet so just be very careful lots of regular checks lots of regular checks of putting it on the head as well and then going back and forth and kind of blow out the access as well so you can actually see what you've dremeled off
So now just using some gun metal paint, we're going to actually paint all the metal parts of the gun and his blaster. Next part of the paint you want to use is your chrome, so your nice silver paint there. I was using the Hot Toys as reference, uh, just applying those extra little chippings over the actual gauntlet itself. There's a lot of silver tip parts as well, like where the flames come out and the other little switches all over it as well. Just adding those extra silver parts just really brings out the actual detail of the figure. Keep referring back to your pictures for reference uh, and there's a lot of bit of black as well that's missing on the actual gauntlet as well. Like his little wrist darts at the bottom and also like the, the keypads and numbers uh, which is like the calculator part there at the end of the gauntlet. So carrying on with more silver, I actually silvered off the sort of like darts on his knees. I added a few more bits extra as well, so a little bit, a couple of scuffs and marks. I didn't want to do over excessive because he's not the Empire Strikes Boba Fett, he's the repaint Boba Fett. So just a few little scuffs and marks where he might have just hit it on a branch or something. Still carrying on with the silver, just added some extra chippings on his shoulder pads and over the front part of his breastplate as well. Again, very lightly scuffs. So now just adding some silver to his gauntlets, now they're dry. Again, keeping it minimalistic, uh, just don't over exaggerate the silvers and stuff on there. Just a couple more scuffs on those little high end corners where potentially it could have been knocked. With more silver on the jetpack, there's a strip around the top of the rocket that needs to be completely chrome. Uh, and then carrying on with the chrome as well, just adding those extra scuffs on those high ridges of the actual jetpack. And um, yeah, just sort of like just doing what you feel is best.
Just a few little details to note on the jetpack, the the sort of end parts of the uh, the knobby part of the uh, the jetpack propulsion parts, um, they need to be silvered off, and also the little dot in the middle of the uh, kind of screw part there needs to be silvered. Um, it's just very small minor details, but it really makes the figure pop. The more detail that you put on, the more accurate it looks, the better it will look. So using red brown on his belt here, that's the one that's holding the pouches on. It just gives it a little bit more detail with a sort of different leather look, uh, or just a different brown around his waist, uh, so it doesn't all bleed into one, uh, just to give it that more weathered look. So on his belt just behind, it's kind of like a woolen belt, uh, kind of like a sash. So I used buff, I used black, and I used the brown as well, just to give it a little bit more detail. Um, it's up to you want to do this. It's very sort of small and tricky. I just dabbed a few little extra bits here, there, and everywhere. And if it looked too much of one colour, I just simply went over it with a couple more colours as well. Going back to the guns, I used like a gold. I kind of wish I used a bronze on this. But um, his barrel part seems to be a different colour. So if you want to use bronze, if you want to use gold, it's entirely up to you. Using our red brown again, just using the grip uh, on his guns there. So it gives it a little bit of a different look. So here I'm adding more silver to the gun. I actually silvered off the end as well because it's got like a sort of burnt blaster look. And on the actual little blaster as well, added a bit more silvering weathering as well over that. So over the figure now, I'm adding sort of like a, just a dry brush of black. Uh, just to keep it sort of weathered in places I want to. Only a little bits over the armour. I don't want to sort of drench it completely in black. I just want little kind of burnt scuff marks where the silver edgings and stuff are. The actual figure itself, then I did use a black wash over it. I uh, just wanted to really emphasise the black of the outfit. I kind of wanted to get away from that kind of brownish look. So just adding a really deeper black wash. Not paint, not painting it. It looks like it at the moment because it is wet but it is a wash over the top of it. And I just let it dry. Uh, I really went over the boots as well because the boots really needed to come up a little bit more. They were a bit too light from the original figure. So I just added a lot more to it. And then with a dry brush, once it was all dried off with the uh, black wash, uh, just a little bit of buff on the paint, on your paintbrush, and just to add those little areas over the top of the, the sort of leggings part. So it kind of looks like sand has been sort of blown over it, is bent down in some sort of dirt and stuff, and it just adds an extra kind of uh, bit of detail to break away from the, uh, the figure itself. And then just simply coating it in a matte spray. And um, yeah, a very simple custom. I'm so sorry that it took a long, long time to get to this stage, but uh, here he is, and we finally have done him. So until in a minute, I'll see you in a sec.
So here he is, all finished and done and ready to join the others on the shelf. And I want to say a massive thank you if you actually uh, got this far in the video, that's for sure. But also if you hang out with me when I was doing this live video, I kind of wish I could sort of show you what I'm doing from a live camera view downwards, but I can't do a live while recording and stuff like that. Maybe I can, but I haven't got the uh, facilities at the moment in time. But um, yeah, thank you for hanging out, because otherwise it's just me in the dark room just kind of listening to a little bit of music. So it's nice to hang out with you guys. So it's a win-win situation for me. So we didn't really use many paints here either to bring this guy a little bit more up to date. So we have got Flat Black XF1. We kind of use this just as a, a bit of a black wash over the top of the guy. I've actually used a lot more over the actual clothing areas and stuff like that uh, to make it a little bit more kind of blackish rather than that kind of brown tan that it does have. Um, we also use gunmetal here. This is mainly the ones that we used on the gun parts and stuff. And then we had to use a lot of chrome this time around. Um, again, on the guns and then a few extra kind of sort of like marks on his armor, uh, a few little scrapes down here on his helmet and on his gauntlets where they got those extra silver parts as well that we needed to add. Again, we used the uh, Gun Leaf X12. Uh, again, I kind of used these on some little areas around on the actual figure as well. Not using a hell of a lot on there, but we did actually use it on the gun, but I'm still not too sure. We're looking to that as we do it, but I don't think it was supposed to be gold. I'm not too, maybe I used the wrong color. Maybe a lot of bronze would have done. Uh, we used XF64, which is red brown, which is the extra kind of brown that we just added around here on his belt. And then we use buff as well. So buff is a really nice uh, kind of paint there. It's a bit like a sandy color. Um, we use this around to give them a, a little bit of sandy kind of weathering over the actual figure once the uh, black wash was dry. And a few extra bits on his belt that we're going to some details. I have put the, uh, the glue here because this guy it's his backpack i can't stand it so i have actually super glued it in place um, if you ever need a decent super glue to for your figures and stuff to hold things uh that's never really going to fall off this is a fantastic glue to be honest and it's got such a little nice little nib on it that it's not going to sort of like bleed all over the figure you just little dab it and then it's in place and then the tamira color we're just going to put all this and we sprayed it all dumbed down his sort of shininess especially on his face as well uh, and all over his armor uh, and this is the ts80 uh, spray on here uh, flat clear so this is the best one to get that kind of matte feeling over the top uh, once all the paints in place you just spray this over and it'll keep it without going chipped so yeah looking at the actual boba fett figure he's looking really nice now kind of i'm actually enjoying this figure a lot more uh, let's just get the lights around here so we can uh, get a little bit more detail on this guy so with the helmet here this is the main problem that, as i said at the beginning of the video it was just like it just wouldn't sit down it would just kind of sit about there there's a big chunk of plastic inside there so i actually went away and we dremeled all that kind of coloring out there so if i can get it in there all that sort of big massive blob of plastic i was kind of hoping to like just dremel it a little bit i weren't my thing wasn't to remove it all but and i thought oh, i'd just be a little little notch at the front here maybe a little notch on the side that i need to dream off and it's going to fit but no it didn't it literally needed the whole thing taken out so that's what i've done and with that it just fits right over the helmet or ahead of the figure and it doesn't you know it, it's a little bit looser but it's it's not drastically that bad to be honest and it can completely rotate move around with it all on there and it covers all his whole chin all the way down as well so it's looking a lot better and with that helmet as well we added a little bit more silver on there you can see it hitting the light a little bit more silver blemish around here on this side we silvered this ear off as well just to give it a little bit more detail and a bit more silvering around on the back there just not too much because i want still wanted him to be like a a full kind of boba fett repaint but where he's just kind of walked out a little bit we've added that extra little black little mark there as well on the yellow uh, just to bring in that little bit more detail but um yeah it's not looking too bad the rest of the armor down here we've got those extra more silvers around on it a little bit of a black wash over the top of it or more of a dry brush over the top as i explained uh, around on this side as well we've got a little bit more silverage coming around on these bits the gauntlets are the bits that are really kind of missing out so we use the little black just to cull in those little buttons on there more silvering down here silver on these little buttons and silver on the edges here and silver on these sort of flamethrower marker parts as well uh, just to give it a little bit more kind of metallic look a bit more used and then you've got the silver edges around on the inside as well 
on the belt we've used that extra brown just to sort of like give it that extra kind of uh, differential kind of coloring there on these sort of like pockets and pouches um, and even on here there's sort of like a wall kind of like a, a bit like a, a wookie braid I guess it goes like tan color brown color and black and I just kind of like dabbed just random colors around on it just to give him a little bit of that kind of look there it works better when it's on the shelf from afar and then using that buff as well we've gone over those corners of those pockets to add a little bit of weathering on there and um, yeah on his gun uh, I think it could have been a little bit better I think my gun metal was kind of going a little bit crazy uh, I used the black uh, the gold over the top with the silver on the end here um, I do feel like maybe it was a little bit too gold I think maybe like a rosy kind of uh, rusty kind of bronze might have looked a little bit better uh, so I actually went over it with a bit more gunmetal and a bit more kind of black wash as well just to drum it down on that gold parts but it does sort of give off that kind of vibe and I kind of like it that it kind of sort of goes with his other little gold accessories that he has as well uh, so we gave him a little bit of a brown down here silver on all these little buttons and extra parts around on the gun as well and as i said we're silvered on the end taking this gun off uh, we can have a look at this gauntlet as well you can see all the extra silvers and stuff that we have added on there as well and down on the legs we added more of that sort of black wash over the top of it i just wanted to really drum it down from that black for some reason it always to me kind of as soon as the light hit it it's kind of like a blacky brown um, but yeah so all that over the top of it with a bit of buff on his knee pads down here we've added silvers and silvered off his sort of like uh, knee darts as well on this side same on this side as well and then I gave you a really heavy black wash over his boots because they were a little bit too grey for me um, and they just needed a bit more weathering on there as well and around on the back we just added more kind of silvering more kind of scruffs and stuff silvered off this top part as well to coincide with the actual uh, backpack and these little bits on the inside just silvered inside on those buttons and um, a little bit of kind of usage around on these sides and silvering off the, these parts as well they're the main sort of details the rest is kind of like my own kind of design because he doesn't really have that many scratches but um yeah i feel it right works he's got his little side arm as well but we just kind of like gun metal this one just pull it out uh, a little bit of silver on there as well just to give it a little bit more realism uh inside there so uh, yeah i think he's working uh we take this bit out as well and uh we've done a matte spray over his head as well so um haven't added any extra paint to his face there um so it's just a matte paint on there not look at him so so sweaty the matte spray sorry not the uh, thing on that so uh yeah he's looking a lot better and now he's definitely one of my favorite fets because as i said before um just due to that helmet and the way he was kind of like wearing it and stuff it was just kind of kind of doing my head in there a little bit but yeah so the next one we've got to do is the uh typhoon one so i'll be looking forward to this and there's a few more med modifications for this one we've got to move these kind of bits and put it on top of his shoulders and stuff around like that but um yeah i'll be looking forward to doing this one so stay tuned while we do more of those and we'll probably do some more clone trooper ones as well while doing it live as well so um yeah stay tuned for all those to come uh, slowly but surely we will get there so thank you all so much for joining me on this one don't forget you can comment down below you can subscribe you can ding the bell you can follow me on instagram and you'll see more pictures of these popping up on instagram for sure as i go out taking more pictures and until next time take care and i'll see you soon bye